Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is May 19, 2018, and this is our daily cryptocurrency market news analysis. So we're here to give you all the news according to the charts. If you guys want to have more analysis on multiple altcoins, then come and become a member of ours on the Houston News Patreon page. There we are allowing our members to give us their requests on whether or not which altcoin they want us to do paired against um, USD or even Bitcoin. That's one of the benefits you all will have access to once you become one of our members on our Patreon page. Okay, and that's only for three dollars a month, ten cents a day. You guys will have access to the requests of these multiple altcoins that are in the market currently that so many other people are not doing analysis for. We will definitely do a video for you all in our predictions of where we expect that altcoin to go. Okay, so for today's video, I'm just going to do analysis for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. But if you guys want more analysis paired against Bitcoin or even the USD or even against the Euro or the Japanese Yen or the British Pound, then definitely you guys can become one of our members on Houston News on Patreon's website. So currently Bitcoin is up 0.6%. Last year it was 82.86.50. Daily price chart for Bitcoin. Uh, again, the market came and hit resistance at $8,400, which is what we expected Light volume is also coming into the market, but we're still closing above the high from yesterday. So there's still more strength currently at the moment in Bitcoin. But nevertheless, consolidation is what we're expecting to see over the next couple of hours. And that simply means that the market needs to hold support around eighty two hundred and that resistance is around eighty four hundred dollars. And so far, we're still consolidating in a very small, tighter range. And if this current three hour bar closes above this previous close, then definitely I'm looking for Bitcoin to continue to move higher in price. Taking a quick look at the one hour bar, you all can see that we're not necessarily moving to the downside. Ultimately, I would expect Bitcoin to hold support above $8,200, or even $8,240. Still seeing more weakness in the space, but given the amount of small spread that's in the market, we're definitely not seeing Bitcoin going to move further than eighty two forty or eighty two hundred dollars okay still looking for bitcoin to continue to move higher in price throughout trading tomorrow so now let's take a look at ethereum uh, ethereum currently is up 1.75 percent last trade was 701 dollars and 96 cents daily price bar for ethereum you all can see that 720 dollars is resistance because it was acting as support in the background so we're getting some stockpile coming in the market right now for Ethereum. Taking a look at the three hour chart, though, I would like to see Ethereum hold support around 698, you know, around that price. But ultimately, it can come all the way back down towards $695 in trading tomorrow. There was a lot of stockpile that came in on this three hour chart on the three hour bar. But the market necessarily is not following with the wider spread down move. One hour chart for Ethereum. Again, we're holding support at $700. Would like to see that continue because if so, still looking for Ethereum to continue to move higher in price. If it breaks $700, then yes, expect the market for Ethereum to continue to move and try to hold support at $695. If we get more weakness around $695, then definitely uh, Ethereum is going to continue to move lower. So now let's take a look at Litecoin. Currently, Litecoin is down 1.37%. Last trade was $135.32. Daily price bar for Litecoin. Again, we're not getting the follow through from the strength that we saw yesterday. It simply tells us that consolidation is going to continue. $130 needs to hold that support, and $140 is resistance. Taking a look at the three hour bars for Litecoin, you all can see that $138 came twice as resistance the market for litecoin came all the way up to that price point and fell from then but again just like with ethereum and bitcoin yes the market is giving us some weakness might get some slight movement to the downside but again i'm still seeing these cryptocurrencies at best continuing this consolidation and it has a higher probability of moving higher than it is to the downside at the moment we're just going through the transition right now 
of us trying to find a lower area of support and then from there I'm expecting the market to continue to bounce for there so for Litecoin $134 needs to hold that support in order for them to continue to move high in price if it breaks 134 then ultimately that next support area can be 132 and even 130 so overall for the cryptocurrency space including Litecoin I'm looking for the market to move higher and that's only if we can find support relatively soon or not that far from where these altcoins are currently trading as of the recording of this video okay but if we break those support areas then expect the movement to the downside back to the wider area of consolidation on the daily price chart or even on the three hour chart so that's all i got for today and again if you guys are interested in getting more analysis of multiple altcoins then definitely you need to become one of our members on Houston News on Patreon and from there you guys will gain access to our private Facebook group to where you're able to ask questions we drop some nuggets that a lot of other market participants don't want you to know and we are there to give it to all those who value this information because this information is not widely known and no one else is doing it so again if you're interested you know where we're at there's a link in the description of this video so just go ahead and click there it'll go ahead and sing you to our Houston News Patreon page and there you can sign up. So that's all I got for today. Make sure you maintain your profitability and I will talk to you all later.